It's an interesting time for uh, the extraction shooter, I guess is the best way that I can put this. With everything that's going on with Battlestate games right now, mainly because of Russia and what Russia's been doing to Ukraine, there's an awful lot of room here for someone to potentially sweep in and take the crown. And it looks like Activision is priming itself to possibly be that guy. We got some cool stuff, but first I got to do the title screen. Newsy news. Newsy news. Newsy news. Newsy news. Newsy news. Good morning, everyone. My name is One Peg, and today's edition of the news, uh, Call of Duty DMZ, Activision, you know, Modern Warfare 2, DMZ, the new free-to-play mode that's coming out whenever Modern Warfare 2 finally decides that it's going to uh, show up. Looks like it's going to be, I mean, the closest thing to what Tarkov is, at least on paper, that what we've seen up until this point. Now, I do want to be very clear that we only have leaks that are being shared that are on paper, on paste bin, really, from this guy, Codsploits LMGZ. Now, he has been, they have been posting leaks regarding DMZ for quite some time now. So far, it seems like they've been relatively reliable. And in some of these leaks that he's been posting to Pastebin, if they are to be believed, then we will probably see a very, very likely clone of what we know Tarkov to be. However, I also want to be clear that we haven't seen any gameplay as of yet. So while on paper it looks like it might be very, very close to maybe even a ripoff of a lot of Tarkov-esque stuff, none of this is new, none of this is unique. It's been done before. It's just in this combination, it looks very similar to things that we've already seen. But since we haven't seen any actual gameplay, I'm not getting my hopes up just yet. It just is interesting to see how much of a splash that a game like Tarkov has made in the larger, I guess, FPS gaming scene. Anyway, enough of my yammering. Let's take a look. Now, there were two very large data dumps that got posted to Pastebin, and I'm going to just kind of zoom in here and show you what I'm talking about. The first one has to do with emissions. Throughout most all of this, we're going to see this string. This is just a placeholder for a number to be put in there. So, however many enemy grunt weapons, and then down here's however many SAM sites. So we have, we have the text in terms of what the mission says. We need to bring back some of their weapons so we can analyze them, extract so many enemy grunt weapons, extract so much in cash in one match. So we do know from this that there's going to be some type of currency system. Uncle Sam is looking to do some research, extract a hailstorm. So I guess a hailstorm is going to be some type of weapon or, or some some such. Empty X number vehicles of gas. So drive around a lot. So we also know that there's going to be vehicles in DMZ at the very least. We don't know what the vehicles are or how abundant they're going to be, whether or not you can fly in choppers or if it's just going to be ground vehicles. There's also things like extract with a certain number of liquor bottles. So we have we have certain items in the game that aren't necessarily like weapon related or something related to uh, vehicles. It looks as though there might be just normie trade items. Hack UAV towers, complete so many hunt contracts, complete so many elimination contracts, extract so many operator dog tags. So again, we have a dog tag mechanic to identify people that we are killing, I guess, in this sense. Very, very, very similar to that of what Tarkov has been bringing to the table for the last five or six years. None of this is, like I said, unique to shooters, though. We've all seen mechanics where people get their dog tags collected. I mean, Call of Duty has been doing the dog tag thing forever. It's usually just on melee kills, though, right? Some of this other stuff, though, is like text strings. So a lot of this is a little bit garbled. However, there are some key items in here. The first and most interesting one is this. Locked stronghold key required. Airport maintenance key. Antiquities office key. There are a lot, a lot of listed keys here. So we know, based on this, we can assume that there are going to be locked doors on DMZ where you will need a key in order to be able to open them. Possibly points of interest or loot points, for instance. Which suddenly makes this look a whole lot more like Tarkov or The Cycle. There are also items that appear like they have little to no value. A bottle of aspirin with a faded label. It's completely empty. Item has no value. These glasses seem like antiques. The lenses are cracked. Item has no value. There's a lot of interesting entries here that say item has no value. They could potentially be useful for barters, if there's going to be a barter system. There also is information on this related to durability of keys. Airport maintenance key. Airport maintenance key used. Airport maintenance key worn. So perhaps the keys won't be able to be used forever. They have some type of durability mechanic, some type of decay that's built into them. It's kind of interesting. 
Something that make this something that potentially makes this look an awful lot like Battlefield 2042's game instance, though, is this. Wait for the helicopter to arrive. Win by surviving until you can reach the helicopter to extract. Another team extracted. Hurry, another team is already extracted. Helicopter ready. Extraction intercepted. Extraction started. An extraction helicopter is inbound. A lot of interesting pieces and parts there. And there is also this part of it, too where it looks like the map may be time-limited based on a nuclear device coming in. 10-minute warning, nuclear signature detected. 5-minute warning, nuclear warhead inbound. And then finally, the last piece of information that we can see is that there appears to be some type of faction involvement. Black Mouse Intel and White Lotus Intel. The missions for this faction are focused on exploration and travel through the DMZ. The missions for this faction are focused on completing activities and eliminating enemy AI. So we know at the very least we have Black and White Lotus or Black Mouse and White Lotus. And there was also a mention in the paste bin of something called a stronghold. We're not really sure what stronghold means, but there is a string here that says strongholds open. So perhaps there is a period of time that you have to wait in the DMZ and then the strongholds will open up and allow you to get in. Or it's something that we have to do ourselves. And then last but not least, we also have some voice lines that appear like they're going to be, I guess, somewhat related to the DMZ mode. Uh, there's a safe here. Black site marked. I've got eyes on an enemy boss. Enemy gunship or located a gunship. I have some radiation blockers, so we know that there's going to be radiation. Heavily fortified stronghold here. Got a stronghold here. It's lately guarded. Visual on the SAM site. Enemy special mission unit here. So we could also have what appear to be like raiders or rogues, like harder enemies than just like the normies. So we can confirm keys, key durability, bosses, elite minions, normal minions. Uh, the game loop looks like you get in. Perhaps there's a nuke that comes inbound at some point. We have irradiated areas where we're going to need anti-radiation meds or equipment of some kind. We have strongholds that uh, apparently are being guarded or strongholds open up, and we have to extract via a helicopter, I guess. There's also the weapon customizability that we've already seen from the beta tests where we have seven different types of ammo for like 5.56, for instance. There's like five to seven different types of ammo for each one of the gun systems that we were able to use. So that is an expansion on the last Modern Warfare. A lot of this, a lot of this feels an awful lot like Tarkov. None of this is unique in any way, shape, or form. Put together in the order that it is, constructed in the way that it is, at least if these paste bin leaks are to be trusted, shows a game mode that looks very, very similar to that of Tarkov. The question will be what the movement mechanics and what the gunplay looks and feels like. And given that BSG has been maintaining radio silence for the better part of two months, aside from a couple of podcasts and a, a occasional tweet, we haven't seen or heard really anything from them in the last few weeks. Given the current wartime climate in Russia, I don't expect that we're going to. Which means that if this is continuing to go on, Activision could step in and really scoop up an awful lot of the audience if they play their cards right. But they really have to play their cards right and really hone in on what it is that makes a game like Tarkov a game like Tarkov. Anyway, guys, that's what I have for this one. Please give me a follow on my socials at OnePegMG on Twitter, at OnePeg on TikTok. Please consider giving me a sub here if you enjoyed the content, and please give me a shout over at twitch.tv slash OnePeg, where I am live every day from around 6 to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>